Browser developer tools are a great way to inspect elements of a web page. Each browser has their own developer tools, but I will be describing and showing the Chrome developer tool. If you're having a hard time understanding why a certain element is not doing what you'd expect, or you just want to inspect what styles were used on an element, try right-clicking it and select Inspect from the pop-up menu. A panel will open that shows the HTML, the styles, and the box model for that element. This tool is powerful and can do many things. We'll look at just a small number of things. Notice in the HTML, the element you were on when you clicked Inspect will be highlighted, and the styles or CSS and the box model information will show the information for that highlighted element. You can click and expand and contract any of the code to look at other elements too. The styles or CSS that affect the highlighted element will also show below the HTML. It will show if it's a style that you added to the CSS file, and it would even show what line the selector is on in your CSS file. And it might show the user agent styles or browser default styling. You can also uncheck boxes next to the styles to turn off and on that particular declaration, and the browser will show the results for that page. For example, here I could see what it looks like if I turn off the box sizing, or I could see what it looks like if I changed a width, or I could even make a new declaration for that selector. Perhaps I want my text color to be a dark olive green. I can even click the color square to open up a color picker and make it darker or choose a different color. All of these changes are not permanent. It is not actually changing our CSS file. It's just the browser showing us what it would look like. As soon as we refresh the page, it will go back to what is actually in the CSS file. If you see declarations that are crossed out, it might be because they have been overridden by more specific rules, or in my case, it's because I have them commented out in my CSS code. Also notice, as I rest my mouse pointer over the code here, I will see colors surrounding my element. They represent parts of the box model. Also, if you scroll down, you can also see the graphic of a box model with the actual numbers of pixels for padding, border, and margin. As I rest my mouse pointer over each part, I can see the colors in my browser. Notice they're all in pixels, even though I might have used a different type of measurement in CSS. The auto, in this case, is showing as pixels. And as I resize the page, you will see that they can change, they'll change. Okay, just a few more things. If you want to see pseudo selectors, for example, maybe the CSS for a hover effect, I can click here and then I would be able to play around with that. I don't happen to have any hover effects, but that's where you would find it. Also, at the very top, there's a toggle device icon. It's the second one. It lets me choose different devices to show me how my page would look on a certain type of phone, a tablet, etc. Et there are lots to choose from, or maybe even enter a pixel size to represent a really big monitor. I'm gonna to toggle that back off. One more thing, notice as I resize the width of my page, I can see the pixel width of my page in the top right. This comes in handy when setting media queries that we'll touch on later. So lots of very cool helps with developer tools.